Now, a Muslim women's group has written to the Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn, claiming women have been stopped from becoming councillors by Muslim men in the party. Muslim Women's Network UK demanded an inquiry into, quote, systematic misogyny displayed by significant numbers of Muslim male local councillors. Labour said it had the best record of any of the parties in selecting female and ethnic minority candidates. Joining me now from Birmingham is Shasta here from the Muslim Women's Network UK, who wrote that letter to Jeremy Corbyn. So talk us through, if you would, uh, what is the problem as you see it? Uh, we really started, started talking about this when uh, the Prime Minister talked about uh, Muslim women needing to learn English and that was a barrier to participation. We feel the barrier to participation, which actually we've known for decades, is the system, systematic misogyny that exists in Muslim communities, which goes across from community organisations such as mosques and also local councillors. I do think it's a cross-party issue, but Muslim women are most affected by the Labour Party because of the sheer numbers of Muslim men involved in the Labour Party and these men will have friends and relatives also uh, sitting on mosque committees as well or they may be sitting on mosque committees themselves. So what we feel is that the taxpayers money is being used to marginalise the voices of women and women are just getting fed up now and they just actually want to be heard and we want an inquiry into this issue. Now is this, uh, I suppose it's slightly difficult to explain, is this a rather subtle thing or is it kind of overt, look you're a woman know your place kind of thing. I mean, how, how does it actually operate as far as the women you know are concerned? So lots of women have contacted us. A lot of women are too frightened to actually reveal their identity and go public. They, they said, actually, we're frightened of being punished. We are going to be threatened. A few brave women have come forward. And it's mixed. Sometimes it's subtle and sometimes it's actually very, very blatant. You have excellent women candidates that will come forward that are independent. And they'll be un undermined, sabotaged. There'll be smear campaigns against them. And men that are less capable and have lesser CVs will be selected above them. And when Labour have all women shortlists, those are circumvented because they put forward friends and family members and more and more women are coming forward and when they try to complain, they're told withdraw your complaint because otherwise you're going to de jeopardise your future chances. They kind of dangle a carrot. And I think if the Labour Party did an investigation, they will find tons of cases. So I'm really, really disappointed at their response to say we've got an excellent record. They're trying to hide behind the fact that they're doing better than other parties. They could do a lot better and it's no excuse. But I know why they're saying that, because once they start investigating, it will shine a spotlight onto very senior Labour Party officials who have allowed this to happen under their watch for decades. Can you say who these people are? I mean, you presumably know their names. Well, uh, yes, lots of names have been put forward to us uh, locally and nationally. You only have to look at, for example, uh, the politicians will go and have photographs taken. And if you look at the photographs, you'll just see hardly any women or no women at all in those photographs. And if they did an inquiry, lots and lots of names will come out. We've even seen emails where, for example, complaints have been made and nothing has been done. And I think really a proper inquiry is needed. But I would say a cross-party inquiry is needed, looking at actually the experiences of all black and ethnic minority women. I only know about the experiences of Muslim women, but I think my Sikh sisters, black sisters and Hindu sisters will be going through exactly the same thing. I was going to ask you actually about that, whether maybe the route to go is uh, to lobby senior women within the Labour Party about what's happening and not just to Muslim women. Yes, yeah, so I do actually, you know, we probably need to look at wide, more widely the experiences of women in general. So obviously we've written, we've written two public letters, one to Mr Corbyn, which is on our website, and also we've written one to, and that's an eight page letter by the way, and we've talked about in detail what the problems are, what needs to be done, but also we've written to the Prime Minister as well, because we think there needs to be a cross party inquiry and yes we would love it if senior female politicians actually supported us in this campaign. Shasta go here thanks very much for joining us.